Hello everyone, this is Dr. Russell Schaefer again. Um, welcome to episode two of the free models of the Blue Sky Plan. Um, today we're going to do a little simpler case than we did last time. Um, this is kind of just a simple case where I'm making uh, models for a lower denture. Um, so yeah, let's go through the case. So first we're going to import the models. Um, open them up. An upper jaw and a lower jaw here. This is a case where we have an immediate denture that we did, and we're going to make some um, immediate lower denture against a um, upper um, one by um, six to eleven um, natural teeth, and um, you know upper partial. And so we got the teeth on the top here. You can see them right there, and we're going to um, use that to kind of articulate everything. And we got a lower, and then so take the upper teeth right there. Got dentate maxilla, continue to align it. Continue to align it, and blue sky plan aligns that. That looks pretty darn good right there in blue sky plan. I love it. Good. Now as you can see right here, we got, I got an impression in the upper, and we got a pretty much a realigned mandibular denture right here. Um, that is one solid model, more or less. If we look at the, go to model edit right here, um, in, our, in our model, a model module, if we go to select tools manually right here, we can see that's pretty much all closed. So if we wanna make this a solid model, the lab could print this out for us. Um, not a big deal. Um, but anyway, what we're gonna to wanna to do here is we actually wanna pull out, and, and we actually wanna pull out pretty much the model out of this for a lab to print out as well. Um, but we kind of want to have also have lab actually a reference model for this too. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do this here. So let us do everything here as we want to. Um, let's get started. So first things first, let's clean everything up a little bit here. Uh, we'll start with the top model because that's a little bit easier to do first. Um, I kind of like to make everything kind of easy for printing because uh, I hate wasting ink. Uh, resin is expensive. That's just how I like to look at things. So let's clean everything up here. Let's go to model edit here, selection brush. You know, I like doing it this way right here. Oh, control Z, make everything a little bit smaller. And I will kind of go like this. I'll kind of just select off what I want to get rid of here. Cut. Run shift. Cut, and then you double click on that and just get rid of all of that stuff right there. Get rid of this little piece right here, cut. And the reason I do this for, that way, you know, um, resin is expensive, especially if your lab's using some of the nicer uh, printed resins. Um, there are some printer resins now that actually don't stick to acrylic. I know Higgers makes one that's really nice. Um, and they don't want to waste that, honestly. You know, keep your lab, keep, help keep your labs, keep costs down. So, we're just going to clean the models a little bit for everybody here. Good. Good. Great. Right, cut that off there. Perfect. Make that look pretty. Now let us go to our bottom one now. Now, first things first, let's duplicate this. Okay, because I actually want to make two of them here. We'll change the color of one of them to a nice, pretty teal. And we'll take this one right here that we duplicated. And we're going to want to pull off this impression here. So kind of the same sort of idea. I'm going to go to model edit panel. If you don't, if you don't have these panels on your thing right here, go to panels on the top of the screen, you go to model edit, right there. So it has selection brush, hold down select, hold on shift. And now let's just kind of go around here and just hold down and kind of just select the area that is not part of the, um, that's just kind of like the, um, what do you would call it? Almost like the, not part of the impression. And kind of just highlight that part right there.
make sure you get like one kind of almost continuous line. Because so we kind of want to block everything out, almost make it almost like we want to make it in two separate pieces. Control Z, kind of that, like that right there. That way we can just make it, we can kind of just double click everything. Control Z, don't like that right there. Very good, very good, very good. Fantastic, and hit cut. Great. Now we're gonna take this top piece here, double click on it, and we got that whole piece right there, and we're just gonna cut that off right there. Good. Cut that. Now let's see if we've got any undercuts here. Get rid of the little pieces here. Good. So that's like a pretty good impression right there. I guess this is, this is just PBS, you know, probably a light body, maybe a medium body with a light body. Um, obviously a little bit wrinkly, but nothing too bad. Um, now, right now, this model is actually inverted right now. Um, which means that the working side here is this right here because it's an impression. Now, what I would do here in Blue Sky Plan is you can actually go surf. You can actually go to model manipulation. This is a because this is a max layer model right here. It's actually a manipulator model. And you go to hollow model to create a nice solid model right now, and it gives you a model that looks like this. Now you can see right here. This gives you a little bit of weirdness right here. That's not too big of a deal. Um, because, you know, this part right here is kind of unuseful, it's kind of useless right here. So we kind of want to go back there and kind of just cut off this little piece right here, because it's when it does the solid model right there, it doesn't know what to do with this piece right here, so let's just cut that off. So selection brush, cut, cut. That little bit right there. Let's get rid of this little piece with a little bit of a hair right here. Good. Good. All right, let's try that again here. So modulation again, see what that gives me here. Hollow again. That looks better right now. I think a lab could work with that. It obviously looks a little weird right there, but I'm not too worried about that. It's kind of useless data right there. So good. We have a manipulator model. And now, um, that looks great. Now let us make our max layer model hollow. I want to continue there. Great. Now let's have some guide pins here. So I always like adding four guide pins here. Perfect. Get these things as close as you possibly can to everything. That makes, makes it easier for the lab to print it out or for you to print it out, honestly. Good, good, good. I kind of almost like touching these areas. If you can, go a little bit farther away here. And I like to do four, um, just especially when you have a dentalist models, because then it just, um, in case one fails, the lab's not having to kind of almost guess at it a little bit here. Make sure it's not touching the teeth. Good, and let's do one last one over here.
Wonderful. Put this one, pull this thing back here real good. Good, there we go. Let's pull this thing all the way down here. Wonderful. And now go to model manipulation and create articulation pins. So these two over here are kind of are very redundant, but that's okay. And now let's see how the the top. So we got those two done. Now let's see how this lower model beforehand kind of lines up with everything right there. Does it look like it's articulating kind of an MIP? It actually does. So what I would do here actually, and this might seem kind of strange, um, but I'm gonna print this out in three different ways here for the, my lab. Um, and most printers shouldn't have a problem with this and I'll show you why. I'm gonna print this out. Um, I'm gonna give my lab three different files here, okay? So I'm gonna give my lab this first file here, the lower by itself. Oh, actually, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit here because you see right here, I don't love this little weird piece. So I don't love this little weird piece over here. Let's clean that up a little bit here. I don't have his little pieces over here either. Let's clean those up too, a little bit. Let's use the surface tool. There we go, good. Great. Let me just close these little holes over here that I know made. Perfect. Okay, so like I said, what we're gonna do is we're going to first file export this mandible file. And we'll call it mandibular articulator like we did have earlier, because I did this case earlier for my lab. And then we'll call a second one here. We will export the top. Let's see here. So as always, I like to I always like to export what's ever on the screen. Perfect. Now for the last one I export here, I kind of want to export both the lower jaw with the lower with the lower jaw and this together as one piece. Um, and that seems a little strange, but I find that most softwares will kind of figure it all out together. Um, and if you want to be a little bit more, you know, less subtle with it, you can actually do this. You can actually almost do this. You can actually kind of combine the pieces together. So I can go model, close model, like this.
And the reason I want to do this, that way my lab actually knows how, every, how I want the denture to kind of fit all together as one piece, especially if I like the teeth. Um, you know, if you're trying to make a reference denture and whatnot, but you want to keep all the stuff all fitting together, um, this might be kind of useful for the lab, you know? Um, just one more kind of, but you don't want to also have to remake the um, upper. You know, this could be something nice for the lab to have. So that's kind of my thoughts. It doesn't really require you to make, do any extra work here. Everything's already in the same orientation. And so I would make this all as one piece right here. I would send this all out. And let me show you here. If we put this in a two box, which is um, which is a uh, Frozen's thing. So this is a former the case. I just these are some dentures I just made. You know. You know. Let's say you want to print this off of um. You know using Rip Ferguson's case, mini for, um, mini 8K. Let's see, I, you know, using Kiro Element, which is a great um, cheap resin right there. See, do I have his stuff? Yeah, I've, I've got his uh, thing, Kiro. Slice it up right there. Whoops, go back. Put some supports on it. And make sure it's all settings are there. Okay, let's see. Let me see what the resin profile there is. Okay, the build offset area is not there, but you know, it'd be fine for right now. But you're gonna go slice. The software will kind of figure out how this whole thing should print. So, this is gonna print it solid. It's gonna be wasting a little bit of resin, but nothing too much, honestly, because resin is pretty cheap, honestly. Um, but yeah, it'll do it all together as one piece right there. And that's not too bad. You can, what you really kind of worry about, honestly, is right where the interface is um, between the two things. But I'll guarantee you right now, that's all I'm gonna care is one piece, honestly. There's not much of a gap right there. Um, so yeah, that's how I do it, honestly. I sent off the lab as one STL, because there's got me a gap. Um, and it all print as one piece. And then the lab can literally just print out all three files if they wanted to. Print out that file, that file, and then um, later on print out the upper together, and they'd be good to go. You know, um, they could literally make you a lower denture off of that. And um, you know, especially they wanted to make um, conventionally processed, or if they're doing digitally, you know, with a Strass printer or with a mill denture, you want to say that at supports. But this is kind of gives the lab all the information they need to make you a lower denture. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Um, I guess I've, I've done two dentures in a row, but I'm a denture guy, so that's kind of what you're it from me. Um, I will guess try to figure out what case I'm going to do next. For If you have any suggestions, please let me know. Hit me up on Facebook, and I'll give a model in case you want me to do. Let me know, and I'll make that for my third video. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day. Bye!